Now let's look at transference again. Ra, here, here's again the assumption where he says he assumes that it's much stronger that the transference is a stronger frequency than the actual frequency of someone who is correct. He calls it an uber frequency in that essence, and it probably gives a distorted value to what things are. But if we were to take a deep breath and look at this realistically, most of the people that you come into contact with are operating through blindness. Blindness, meaning this is the, the one of the six psychological dilemmas that most human beings face in the world. They want to find an expression of whatever motivation that is there, but they can't, not correctly, because they're transferred. They're, they're dumbed down cognitively, and they're blinded by the transference of whatever it is. And if they're, heaven help them, if they've attracted a rogue crystal bundle and now they're communing with the angels when they're really supposed to be um, finding what is necessary. Okay. There's a human need to find expression this way as part of the way that motivation is. Think about this. We are controlled by the program, the greater forces, the mechanical reality of what it is to be in a form that has consciousness embedded within it and with living within a frequency field that is resonant, harmonic, or vibrating, or dissonant. We're in frequency. Everything is frequency. And being attracted to whatever it is that is out of integrity because we have no cognitive intelligence, because we're not operating in alignment, because we weren't raised correctly, because there is no potential for us because it's not on the fractal for us to be able to actually attune to the correct motivational frequency. And now you see why Ra would wear the hat. Helpless, choiceless, no choice. Oh, he would say helpless and incompetent, this personality. We are locked into the Maya, limited by the program, and there is no choice in that. Few of us get to poke our head through the sky and see and you are here now, so you can see now. Being able to look at your own transference is the most fascinating thing first, because it's not telling you what you are attracting. It's telling you about yourself. What about yourself? Well, if you are blind in blind guilt because you're a hopeful person and you're you know connecting up with transferred motivation frequency to the entities, I'm going to channel an entity then you're guilty about things that you actually have nothing to be guilty about. Feeling guilty or responsible, another word you can use there, responsible for getting the word out there, got to get the word out there, got to commune with the entities in order that everybody knows because I got to get the word out there, says the shadow state mind. Remember the shadow, the openness, whatever the not self strategies are in any place that doesn't have a planetary activation. I'm talking all gates, all channels, all centers with openness, meaning no planets in it. That's all not self, and it all controls you. Whether you're going to blame somebody else, channel, or whether you're going to blame yourself, gate, that controls the mind. And making mental decisions is what lands us in this conundrum of being blinded, the four blinded by fear. Five blinded by blind hope. The six, blinded by blind desire. The one, blinded by need. There we go. Blinded by blind need. The two, blinded by blind guilt. And the three, blinded by blind innocence. When you're operating out of integrity.